This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570EX calculator to find the distance in the topics of motion along the straight line. Alright, normally this kind of question is like format in your MF exam paper 2. So the question will give you an equation. Let's say in this case, they give you an equation of V, which is velocity, equals to 12 plus 4T minus T squared. And they ask you to find the total distance traveled by the particle in the first 10 seconds after passing through O. So at the very beginning, they will tell you T is the time in a second after passing through O. But what does it all mean here is like, they want you to find the distance. So the first thing is you need to know how to find distance in this topic. So this topic, you have displacement, velocity and acceleration so if you have the displacement you want to find a velocity you will need to do dsdt mean you differentiate dif displacement so if you have the velocity you want to get acceleration you need to differentiate velocity all right so at the same time if you have the acceleration you want to get velocity you will integrate as uh, acceleration so right now if you have the velocity you want to get the displacement you need to integrate velocity. Okay, so this is the part you will need to do now. Why? Because right now, in order to find a distance, you need to have the displacement. Because the purpose of displacement is to help you to find the distance. So if I want to find a displacement, I will integrate my velocity, which is 12 plus 4t minus t squared. So if I integrate this one, I will get 12t plus 4 t squared minus t cubed over 3 plus c. Alright, this is what happened if I integrate this one over, over 2. Okay, this is what happened when I integrate the displacement. So in order to find the c value here, we kind of need to pay attention at the, this sentence. t is the time in the second after passing through uh, point O. This one means what? This one means your displacement at the point O itself, the displacement will be zero, but the time haven't start to count. So the time will only start to count after passing through the fixed point O. So at the O itself, the time will be zero. So you will need to use this information, which is S equal to zero, and sub the T equal to zero in the order equation, you will get zero plus zero minus zero plus C. So definitely your C will equal to zero as well. So therefore, when S equals to 0, T equals to 0, you will get C equals to 0 as well. So I will just erase the C since C is 0. So this is my equation. But if you want to find the total distance in the first 10 seconds, first step is you need to make sure does the particle will make the U-turn or not. Because not necessarily the particle is only going one direction. Because the particle might sometime it will make U-turn to somewhere else here. Then you kind of need to find the total distance. But at least we know whenever they want to make a U-turn, the particle will actually stop for a while. So what we will do is we will make V equals to zero to find when the particle will make the U-turn. So, okay, this is what I will do. I will sub V equals to zero into my V equation here. So zero will equal to 12 plus 4T minus T square. All right, so I have T square and then I will have minus 4T minus 12 equals 0 and then I have a quadratic equation this calculator I can easily find the answer for quadratic equation I just need to look for the equation and function and look and go to the polynomial and then this the power of t is 2 so degree will be 2 here then I just insert my a will be 1 my b will be negative 4 and my c will be negative 12 and then I can get my different t value so the first t value here will be 6 and then my second t value here will be or t equals to negative 2. But definitely we will reject the negative value for time because there's not possible to get negative for time. So that's mean I only have one value here which is the particle will make the U-turn. All right, depend, you want to do manually or you want to straight away do. So if you want to do manually, you can. So what you need to do is, okay, we know when time equals to zero, uh, my displacement at origin. Alright, then I want to find when time equals to 6, where is my particle? And then because they want first 10 seconds, right? At the end, I still need to find when time equals to 10, where is my particle? Then from here, I kind of can work out uh, how far the particle actually tra travel. So yeah, let's do it. So if I want to do S6 here, so what I will do is, I will just insert everything 
into the calculator, just sub the 6 into the T here. So it will be 12 and then bracket 6 plus 4 and 2 I can simplify, I get 2 T square. 2 bracket 6 square. So I can just insert everything I want into the calculator here. So this one will be 6 power of 3 over 3. Alright, so I will get 72. So which is 72 meter. Yeah, in this case, we are using meter for it. And then I want to do for S10. Basically, it's the same thing. So in order to save my time, this is how I will use the calculator. I will just go back to all the 6 here, change it into 10. So you can see, I can go, go back to all the 6 here and delete it, go make it into the 10 here. So then I no need to retype everything again. So I will type enter, then I will get negative, negative 40 over 3. Alright, so by doing this, I can actually sketch out how my particle travel here. So I know when time equals to zero, the particle at origin. So we know when time equals to six, so this one, when time equals to zero, the particle actually at the origin. When time equals to six, the particle will at 72 meter. So we just estimate here, maybe when time equals to six, the particle will at the 72 meter. All right. And then when time equals to 10, the particle actually at the negative 40 over three. So it's somewhere here because this is number line, isn't it? So we just assume when time equals to 10, the particle actually at negative 40 over three. So then, now we try to find out how the particle travel is like this. The particle will from zero, and then it travels to the six, and then it make U turn, and then the particle will stop at negative uh, forty over three. So right now, if I want to find the total distance they travel, first from zero to seventy two here, here actually travel seventy two meter only, but then here is from seventy two to the negative forty over three. It's basically it's a seventy two plus 40 over 3, isn't it? So we will have about 85 something, So, but I write in the fraction, which is 2, 5, 6 over 3. So I just need to sum both meter here, both distance here, I can get the total distance. So therefore, the total distance will be 72 plus 256 over 3. So I plus 72, then I will get the final answer, which is 157.33 meter. This one will be the total distance. Alright, but in this video, I will want to teach you another method of finding the total distance, which is using the integration law. Alright, this is what normally I will do. So, if I want to travel from, uh, zero, from the time 0 to 6 seconds, what I will do is, I will say total distance will equals to from 0 to 6 because I know when 6 they will make you turn right so I will just integrate 0 to 6 I will integrate the V I will plus I integrate from 6 to 10 because when I do the first one 0 to 6 I actually finding the first distance here 0 to 6 right and then 6 to 10 I'm finding the second distance this is how I can straight away use this one to find alright then what I will do is I just need to insert my V equation 0 to 6 and then 12 plus 4t minus t square and then definitely here will be dt and then I will plus the second distance which is from 6 to 10 but it's the same equation same v equation here 4t minus t square all right then you just integrate here so I will use the calculator to find this distance here so I like the second method, which is this method here, because I can use the calculator to check my answer. But over here, the calculator doesn't have t. So what I will do is I will represent x as a t here, like 4x minus x square, x square. All right, and then here is dx. Here you insert from 0 to 6. So you will get 72. So which is the first part of the tra uh, distance travel, which is 72 meter. Then this one should be the second part. If you get negative in the uh, in the calculator, you make sure you need to modulus it. Because what? Because distance can never be negative. So in order to save time, I'm not going to retype everything here. So you, you see I use the back button. So I just need to change my 0 and 6 here. So 0 will change into the 6 and 6 will change into the 10 here. Then it can save me a lot of time by using this method. 
So you can see I actually getting negative 256 over 3. The reason why you will get negative because you are going backwards because you move to the left here. So you kind of need to modulus it. You will modulus negative 256 over 3. So therefore the final answer is 72 plus 256 over 3 which is exactly the same here. So yeah, this is the second method. You can use it to find the distance. So, yeah, the good thing about the second method is you, you do need to sketch out the diagram. This is the first good thing. The second good thing is when you do the integration here, of course in the exam, you need to show the working of doing the integration, but you can always use the calculator to check your answer to make sure the way you integrate is correctly and to make sure the, uh, the answer you substitute in is correct. All right, so I guess that's all for this video. I hope you can learn something from this video. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just type Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store. And then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now. And then over here, there's two places for you to insert your voucher code. First place is over here, you can see the more voucher. The second place will be over here, the platform voucher. Okay, the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by Shopee and then this voucher is provided by Casio Malaysia. And then over here, you can insert the voucher code I provide, which is the Casio Mat, and then you just click on apply. I already apply, so you can see like five ringgit off, minimum spam of seventy ringgit. So after that, you should be able to see the price from seventy nine reduced to seventy four. If you have any question, feel free to post at the comment section below, or else I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.